first and foremost, I want to thank my son-in-law, Trey. You guys know him as Solemn. He appears in my chat sometimes. He's uh, my daughter Jessica's husband, and he's very much one of my kids. And I want to thank Solemn Trey for helping me out today. Uh, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we lost T-Bone today. I had to, I had to take T-Bone and have him put to sleep today. The arthritis in his hips was just getting too much. He was in constant pain and he had stopped eating. I uh, cooked him a nice big breakfast this morning of scrambled eggs and cheese and he wasn't even interested in that. Um, so he's in a better place now. He's not hurting anymore. He's running with his brother Caboose, which is the dog I lost last year. Uh, we lost Caboose kind of unexpectedly so that was a different feeling this is uh, I'm very sad to lose T-Bone don't get me wrong but I'm very much relieved that he's not hurting anymore uh, it was a it was a hard morning and like I said uh, I want to thank everybody for helping me get through it but it's over now he's in a better place and if you follow my channel for any length of time, you've seen T-Bone before. He's my big old baby pit bull. And uh, he very much uh, shatters the stereotype of pit bulls. And I, and I just want to talk about that for a second. Like, it's There are certainly different tipper, temperaments with different breeds of dogs. But it's all about the owners. I can't stand people. I cannot stand people that get a pit bull or a rottweiler just for a status symbol just so they can run their mouth and hide behind their dog I hate those kind of people the T-Bone was very much a super loving super sweet lazy dog he was very much more about my kids than he was me which I always loved that about him like uh, when the kids would come around he'd be all about it but with me he never was that impressed with me so he was very much my kids dog uh, he was uh, we got him back in 2008 so he was 13 that's pretty old uh, that's that's about as long as, as a dog can go he had lost a ton of weight this video I'm fixing to show you was from last year and uh, he probably when I took him down this morning didn't weigh half of what this was and he he was completely deaf he couldn't use his back legs at all and he was in constant pain so it was time it's time for me to quit being selfish and, and let him rest which is what we did this morning uh, another thing I want to kind of rant about real quick is is I never you know, I talked to the vet for sure, and, and uh, but I never like Googled up any kind of things for T-Bone. But just, I guess, just my conversations somehow. Uh, you know, my Facebook picked up on that, and uh, all of a sudden there was all these little miracle cures for dogs, hip arthritis and stuff like that, and uh, popping up on my Facebook, and that's bullshit. Uh, that's nothing but kind of snake oil stuff get with your vet you can make them as happy and comfortable for as long as you can but when they're not happy and comfortable if they're in pain you need to let them go there is no effing miracle cure for arthritis when dogs get to a certain age uh, and I hate that they do that and I'm I'm about to do like Marcia Dale I'm on the verge just like Marcia Dale of getting red on my Facebook because that really pissed me off to start seeing those ads pop up. It's horrible. You know, folks are already struggling enough going through something like this without thinking in the back of their mind there's some miracle cure they could have got. That's bullshit. Enough of that. I'm still a little angry. I'm still sad. I just got through uh, burying him on the hill. Uh, and uh, again, thanks thanks to Trey for helping me with that because uh, kind of for the first time in my life I'm starting to feel old I was really really struggling with uh, digging that hole today so 
I want to appreciate him for coming up and helping me out with that. But here's a little, uh, here's a nice little clip of uh, T-Bone from last year. And uh, pretty much what you see in this clip was T-Bone all the time. Right up until the end. So, love y'all. I'll see you around. Everything's okay. I'll be back in action. Y'all take care. See you around. What the heck is that? It has all kinds of storms and power outages. And